more Fed meetings to go with the possibility of a June rate hike, and tomorrow we'll know, it's pretty much off the table. Is the Fed window to raise rates closing? Let's bring in Bill Lee, head of North American Economics at Citigroup, joining us now. Bill, okay, not tomorrow. What's your date on the calendar for the next rate hike? I think September is the next window they've got. June is essentially off the table. Her job tomorrow is going to be a tough one. She's got two jobs. Bring the, bet, the Fed back to be a credible force again. That is, every meeting's live. And because all my colleagues here have priced away any kind of move this year. And she's got to bring a consensus to the committee because she's facing a divided committee. The Hawks want to move yesterday, and the Doves are saying, not yet. Can you guide our viewers then? If you believe September, although your colleagues are saying, say, not at all this year, uh, where should people go? I know you're an economist, but are there any areas that can endure the volatility from both this and what we know next week is going to be some type of decision out of the Britain referendum whether to leave the European Union? Is there an area or areas that you feel or your team feel are, are better to endure that volatility? I think the bulk of the volatility and the bulk of the downward pressure on the U.S. economy right now are, are coming from abroad and coming from the energy sector, although the energy sector is starting to get better. We think that the most protected sectors inside the U.S. economy are going to be non trading goods and the services sector because that's the group of industries and sectors that's going to be experiencing the most benefit from the strong consumption and housing that we have in the economy going right now. Could you just clarify what a non traded uh, sector <laughs> or area is? These, <laughs> I've these been are sectors that, that don't, for like 15 that, years. I don't know what non traded is. <laughs> These, these, are, these are sectors that primarily produce for the U.S. domestic uh, market so no and are exposure. not exposed okay. to abroad. Exactly. Their supply chains are domestic and also their, their, their output goes to the U.S. US marketplace. Ah, you people at City have different semantics. Okay, let's talk about the flight to safety. Negative rates on German bonds for the first time in history. That happened today. Japan's 10 year is negative. So is the Swiss 10 year. Uh, we, we've got the U.K. gilt bond pretty much flatlining. What the heck does this say? And would, would you say that treasuries with their kind of pathetic returns of 1.6% in here in the U.S. are even a place to put money? It certainly looks great globally, doesn't it? But one of the things that you have to keep in mind is why is it that the Fed has put off moving for so long? It's because of uncertainty. And one of the things I've done in my research that I talked about on your show before is that uncertainty is now measurable, and I can actually measure the amount of drag that's been imposed on the U.S. economy by the amount of uncertainty that's come about because of all this financial market turmoil. And it's about half a percentage point of drag. So we've got a half a percentage point of drag just by this uncertainty alone, and it mm. could get bigger if the markets become more volatile. Before we go, I'd love to know the one data point that's most important to you right now? The next employment report. We've got to find evidence that the last one was a fluke and that the Fed is really ready to move. That's what Janet Yellen's got to convince everyone of, and I think that's the piece of data that she's missing. Bill Lee saying that the, the Federal Reserve has got to get credibility back. I don't, know, I don't know how they do that. It's not that they're so incredible. It's just that they keep stringing us along on rates. They keep delaying. Indeed, indeed. Thank you so much. Bill Lee of Citigroup saying, watch out, September is the meeting. Where